In the At Your Beck and Call segment tonight, the G-Man spent his entire program this afternoon analyzing the situation in Egypt, and here he is to bring us up to date. So you, you're not happy about any of this, right? No, I think we're, I think we're actually um, possibly on the, um, witnessing the Archduke Ferdinand moment. Um, Archduke Ferdinand was the guy who was killed, um, uh, shot that w a few months later, started the First World War. I, I think we're on, in real dangerous territory. All right, territory. Let's, let's connect the dots here. Mm -hmm. So Mubarak, bad guy, right? Bad guy. Okay, really 30 bad years guy. we've been dealing with this guy. And we're in bed with him. Right, and we pay him a billion and a half dollars yep. a year. Second um, largest um, uh, aid. aid. And then most of it goes to the military, but it goes back to his pocket a lot sure. of it. Sure. Okay, and he does his favors. I mean, he... Uh, He's against the jihadists. Mm -hmm. He hasn't caused any trouble with Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, he takes some of the Al Qaeda captives mm -hmm. and uh, dunks them in the water, whatever he dunks, mm -hmm. does to them. Uh, and he generally cooperates with the United States on mm -hmm. a global initiative. Meanwhile, he brutalizes his own people and they hate his guts. Right. Okay. And they hate us for it. You know, people, the, the, this is the one thing that I think everybody gets wrong about the United States. They always say, why do they hate the United States? And Bush used to say, they hate our freedom. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. They envy our freedom, and they wish that we stood for freedom. Can you imagine um, somebody coming over to your house all the time and saying, "I'm, I, you know what? Uh, I'm, uh, well, I'm against overeating," and they're raiding your refrigerator all the time. You're making a mistake, and here's the mistake you're making. We had the same exact predicament when the Shah of Iran was overthrown. Yes, bad guy, brutalized his yes. people, but cooperated with the United yes. States. What? took his place, the Ayatollah Khomeini, mm -hmm. was a thousand times worse than the Shah of Iran. And to what is going to take the place America. of Mubarak we is don't going know. to be, I'm telling you, it is going to be very similar, very similar to um, the Iranian situation. Well, then it'll, it's a, that's a catastrophe. Yes, it that's is. That's a catastrophe. Yes, I'm not is. sure that's going to happen. I hope Because I'm the, wrong. the Egyptian military is different than the Iranian military was. All right? It's more powerful. It's more secular. But... When you have a choice of two individuals, all right, the Ayatollah Khomeini or the Shah of Iran, you got to go with the Shah of Iran, as bad as he is. And in I'm Egypt, sorry, it was Bill, almost the same to, look, thing. We didn't do these kinds of things uh, before the progressive movement. B George Washington said, stay out of other we people's didn't have, business. It wasn't a global I'm economy. Sorry, it I wasn't just, a world war threat. I, would, I, really, I know that nobody thinks this would work, but we've never tried it. Tried what? No, be Switzerland. Why not be Switzerland? Well, we, had, we did try it, and you're wrong again. Before World War <laughs> II, before World War II, there was a tremendous movement in this country to stay out of the European war. That is not true. Yes, it that, is. No, it is it not. Was led Woodrow by Wilson was the one. Joseph Kennedy. It was Woodrow Wilson. This that is was two. World War II. World War I, they were saying the same thing. Okay. Stay out of it, stay it out of it. It was a big, big movement to stay out. Right. Okay. And then you saw what happened. It was, a, you know, it was a catastrophe. The reason Look, why it was a catastrophe is because we meddled in people's business and we told England to sink their ships uh, in World War I. If we had not, stay away from World War I. I'm talking World War II is the <laughs> best example. Connected. You're proving my point, okay? We tried to stay out of World War II, all right? The majority of Americans didn't want to get involved with Hitler, all right? I, and it was a disaster. I understand that. But what you're not taking into account is that that is what the average person thinks, just like the average person on the street of, of Cairo thinks they're swept up in some freedom movement. It is not about freedom. It is being orchestrated by the Marxist communists and primarily also the Muslim Brotherhood. Okay, so now let's deal with the situation that we have in Egypt, because this is important to every American. I don't every think most American. Americans understand how important this is. If the jihadists take over, the Muslim yes. Brotherhood, then there's going to be a, f a fight with Israel, number one. Okay, I don't that's going to go up. Yes. All right? And Al Qaeda is going to have another sanctuary. That's number two. If they don't take over, and if the army takes over, there's still going to be ultra violence because that's what those people do. They try to destabilize their society. So, what is Barack Obama and the administration supposed to do? Throw in with whom? There isn't any powerful. Moderate this, democratic no, voice. If you're looking for, you're right. And there if isn't. you're looking for 
an easy answer, Bill. I don't have one. So I, then I, how I'm can very... we criticize? Look, earlier in the program we had Mary Catherine Hamm giving uh, Obama a C and Mark Lamont Hill talking about I'm not a far criticizing left the administration. Give him a D minus. Hey, excuse me. I'm not criticizing the administration. Have you heard me say anything about the administration? But I'm asking you what you would do if you were in charge. Yeah. What you would I'm do. I'm telling you now that the whole, and I, this is consistent with everything that I've said for the last two years, the system is broken. Which system? The, the entire system. The way we have played the globe. The way right, this, so this, you want to be Switzerland. You want to sit it out. You're going to have to. Here's what's going to happen, Bill. I understand. Mubarak is a brutal, ugly guy. I don't want to be in bed with him. I don't want to be in bed with him. On the other hand, I agree with you. If the, if the jihadists get in charge, They're worse. It's, it's awful. And the dominoes will fall all the way. They'll ripple okay. all the way up. And all the way so over. So you want to you want to take a, a you want to take a Swiss posture and basically let the rest of the world sort out their problems. But here's the here's why that can't ever happen, because the jihad, which is the main threat in the world today, would you agree with that? The jihad. Yes. Okay. They're well, gonna, no, the, the jihad coupled with the communist so socialist. Right, movement. I, I see the jihad as more of a problem than a communist socialist movement. All right. They're, They're going to come obvious. after us even if we sit it out. Absolutely. They're going to come after us. Yes. And the, and the stronger they get overseas. How much money? How much money do you have? How much money do you have? About what? What is that? How much money? How much longer? How many more? Do you realize? We how... can't fight the way we fought in Afghanistan and Iraq. We can't I, fight. I, I agree with you 100 percent. We have to do surgical stuff. And we have to be more ruthless than we've but been. But we also have to stand for something. We do we, stand for democracy. We do stand for that. We just don't have are in we some places. Two, how are we putting him in the second largest position of getting our money? It, we are. He is torturing people with well, our money. I understand that. And if you want to, if you want, but the, if you no want rendition, it's totally in, look, fine with me. Thirty if years. We talk you, about thirty. It. Think about it. Thirty years. You had Carter. You had Clinton. I two know. years Obama. Reagan. They had nowhere else to go in that country. I've been there. Why it's do chaos? There's nowhere I else under, to go. I understand that. But everybody is blaming us because we want oil over there. We don't want There's oil. There's no oil in Egypt. We are the they region. just transported. The region. Now there is a there's some validity to that. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. Because we're we redistributing have... the wealth. We have enough All resources right. here. Next week we'll get to the oil business. <laughs> but I, I disagree with you. I don't think we can be a neutral Switzerland. And I don't. Survive. I, I want I don't you to know this. I want you to know this. I don't think we can go. I don't think we can adopt that posture and survive either. Right. I think we need to. We need to progress to that posture. Right. Go don't, back. Don't use that progress. I know. Reverse what they've done to very us. Very frightening. Glenn Beck, everybody.